I mean, tell Italian fans, we got a lot of room on the bandwagon. Oh, right? yeah, we got a lot great. of room. Yeah. Fire it up, man. Fire it up. <laughs> it's clean. It's clean. It's clean. I was about to it's say that. It's a class. Hey guys, I'm Dero, Dwayne De Rosario, alongside my former teammate and TFC current legend and Canadian national team legend, Jonathan Osorio. And we're here with past meets present. What is your favorite MLS jersey of all time? I gotta probably pick the OG, the first TFC jersey. I can't go wrong with that. Because it's a beautiful jersey. It's, this is the one actually I got uh, with the Toronto FC on it. The first professional team in Toronto. And for us, uh, being from here, that was that was big. Yeah, this, this is a special jersey for me too. You know, obviously born, raised in Toronto, 2007, Dikio's first goal yeah. and the excitement we saw around that and letting the world know and letting North America know soccer in Canada is here and it's here to stay at the professional level. So also, what's that one player you felt you were very fortunate to swap jerseys with? We didn't really swap. I actually got his jersey. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's uh, honest. Yeah, yeah. I was able to get Henri's jersey. It was in my rookie year. It was 2013. You watch him growing up and everything and everything that he accomplished. So it was surreal to play against uh, the legend that he is. So what was it like to, to play with him? Man, it was it was a dream come true, really. I mean, just, just to admire how he takes care of himself as a professional. We, we share the same love and passion. Like it was football every day, all day. Yeah. Go to his house, watch football, yeah. talk football, compete every day. Just, just being a teammate of him and seeing how serious he takes it. He's a winner and a true competitor. And yeah. that's why I'm not surprised he is, you know, you know, one of the world's greatest footballers of all time. You won MLS Goal of the Year back to back in 04, 05. Which one was your favorite? That's tough. It's like picking your favorite child. I got to give the edge to when I scored against LA. In LA, this is this is the white jersey, but we had the blue one today, if I remember. But it still has the two stars on it, so it's a big jersey right here. And you know how it is when you score against your rival team. Yeah. It's the last game of the season. And that was a goal. That wasn't just any goal. I yeah, I closed my eyes and hope you guys. It was, a, it was a special moment to get that goal against uh, Kevin Hartman was in net. I, I know he still has nightmares about that goal, but uh, I won't hold it against him. So to you now, what jersey prompts you the best memories um, with Toronto FC? I'll go with this jersey right here, 2017. Just because it's the year we won the treble, and the end of the year we won the MLS Cup, and that's what you play for, right? We win at home, I mean, I remember we had that moment, me, you, and Ashton after the game on the field and, and uh, I remember that I broke down just because, you know, it's a, it's a dream come true. I, I, w I was emotional with you. I remember that moment, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and it's, it's true. You know, when you grow up here and you contribute so much to the city and you win your, your city's first, you know, MLS Cup. Honestly, I enjoyed that with the city. After losing in PKs the year uh -huh. before, the way we did, it was, um, it, it made everything worthwhile, you know. What do you remember from the last time Canada was in the World Cup in 1986? You know, I remember watching it and just excited, man. Just just knowing that, you know, soccer, football is here. This is the 86 jersey right here. And this is, I gotta say, man, this, it's it's clean. It's clean. It's clean. I was about it's, to say it's that. A classic. It's clean. Like, you got like the old Adidas. Logo, like, it's, it's the just, print, the font. This is the OG jersey. And, you know, our coach, John Herdman, would, would show us that video of, of the day they qualified to us a, a couple of times on our journey. It was just to show like, this is this is our goal. This is what we're going for. This is where we want to get back to it. He was doing it when nobody believed in us. Right, right. Like in 2018, he showed that video. In 2018, nobody was thinking we were going to make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's credit to him for sure. What are you looking forward to most about the World Cup? For me, it's just being on the world stage. And for me in the midfield, you're playing against De Bruyne, uh, yeah. Modric, so. What more can you ask for, right? You're exactly. playing against the best and you get to measure yourself against the best. Just just, just give me a jersey and let me go on the field and come <laughs> off and my dreams come true. Yeah, yeah. That's been my dream as a kid and you get to live it and I'm so proud of you, bro. I'm so proud Appreciate of you. Appreciate it. What chances do you think you get Insigne and Bernadeschi to uh, support Canada come November? I mean, it, it leaves out. I mean, tell Italian fans, we got a lot of room on the bandwagon. Oh, right? yeah, we got a lot sure. of room. Cachito and Insigne are already on the bandwagon. They, they nice. told me from the, first, from the first day, they told me, Italy, no World Cup, so come on Canada. And Bernadeschi just came, so let me, yeah. I'll start working on him and I'm sure he'll be on the bandwagon too. There you go. It's great taking a look back in time of mm -hmm. all the jerseys, our careers, the journey. I wish you all the best success for this year with, with TFC and the national team, the World Cup. I'm going to be on the field with you in spirit, bro. Yeah, Trust for me. sure. Appreciate you, boss. Always, brother. Thank you.